So we've been talking a little bit about getting some healthiness into your sweets. Adjua Duncan is back with roasted red beet brownies. Ooh. <laughs> this because it still looks like a brownie it, that I would want to eat, but there's beets in there. I yes. actually really like beets as well, but Same I here. love chocolate. Yes. <laughs> Same here. A lot. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm peeling a roasted beet. Okay. And normally you would do it with um, gloves, otherwise you get uh, bloody hands. Or That's not bloody right. hands, beady hands. <laughs> They do. It looks like they do. They it looks, it looks terrible, like, right? It looks like, yeah. So what you're going to do is I'm going to get you to pulse this a little bit for me. Okay. I'm going to add some of the butter to this because this is butter and cocoa powder oh, and chocolate in here. Just because it, it might need a little bit. Good. It might need a little bit of help. All right. To so. And it's, and it's all attached properly. Yes. Okay. So there's no <laughs> there's no beets coming on me. No. There you go. Oh. Right. And then I am going to mix the rest of the butter and chocolate and cocoa powder into here. Okay. Butter and chocolate and cocoa powder. Yeah. So I think you're done. The rest <laughs> done. That's it. That's all you need. And then sugar. Yeah. So brown sugar. Brown sugar. You can you use care? white sugar if you want. Okay. Um, I like the taste of brown sugar. That's why I always use it. Yeah. I like the taste of it too. And then eight egg yolks. You could, if you really um, only have eggs you can just use probably four eggs but I like that how it how dense it is when you use egg yolks okay all and right and you're gonna pour the put the beets in here okay let me give it one last little thing and let's see if I've done it is that are you okay with the consistency um Chef. sure yeah <laughs> it's that's fine. as good as it's gonna get <laughs> there. in here no no in here okay and then uh, I'm gonna add some vanilla let me get the rest of this out Okay, so the good thing about using beets in a recipe like this is you get that denseness because mm -hmm. it is a it's a brownie, right? Yeah. So and beets tend to be the sort of veggie that always make you feel like a little heavier. It's a little heavier, mm -hmm. which and is, it's got it's nice great earthy, for baked good, and it's got a nice earthy flavor, which right. makes it um, which adds like tastes really great with chocolate. It also is sort of because it's that that deep dark red color. It's not changing the color profile too much from the no, chocolate. No, but I think it makes it prettier. Like it adds it a little bit of pretty. Like, it adds a little bit of um, like a pinky red to it. Yeah, it does. So flour, baking powder, uh huh, and salt. A little pink salt. Pink, well, yeah, I use pink salt because, well, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's pink, and oh. it's pink. So Hopefully, it's you match get the everything. flour all in the bowl. Do you think it's going to taste more red velvety because you're looking, you're putting all that? It, I mean, goodness in there. I... Okay. <laughs> if you could do me a we've favor. We've got a proper shot of it yet, but oh well. We okay. can cut some more. Okay. Oh, very good. It just tastes like. It's you, like smooth, like butter. Mm -hmm. You barely really taste the beet. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's. If you don't like beet, I'm sure you could probably taste it anywhere. But yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty simple. And then, uh, when I bake it into a into a dish, yeah. I line the bottom with uh, parchment paper. Nice. Right? Just so then you can cut the sides out and then when you cut it you get the clean bottom. Otherwise you're forever trying to get out of the pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've put that all into a pan. Yep. What's your next step? Um, in the oven. In the oven for and how long? 25 minutes ish. Okay. What, when it starts to come up, yeah. then I would take it out so it's just underbaked a little bit. That is a very important thing, mm -hmm. otherwise you get pucks. Yeah. Right? So or, you don't or, want that. You <laughs> want it to be just a little bit underbaked. You take it out, you let it sit for a little while. Mm -hmm. I put it in the fridge All the instructions on cityline.tv. Mm -hmm. They taste amazing. Mm -hmm. Ajua, thank you so much for that. Well, we'll be you. right back. Stay with us.